<laughs> so that's that we have a plug in and that was a very successful vectrix and i'm sorry i didn't get more uh, um, pictures of that but the vectrix is actually for sale you know you can buy one so these things that people were driving around during this alternative car show are not a phantasm they're real they exist and you can buy them they use nickel metal hydride batteries from gold peak in china so are you from alter nano yes oh great can i ask you some questions <laughs> Is that what you're here for, right? Yeah, I guess so. <laughs> uh, what about the livery of the batteries? Are, you, are they for sale for the, gen, for the general public, or are they only for, in, for companies? No, they're only for commercial entities at this point. Uh, and specifically, we're looking for uh, OEM uh, manufacturing uh -huh. or uh, large format stationary power. I see. And can, is there any kind? Can you comment on the price? The price is two dollars a watt hour. Uh huh. So two thousand dollars a kilowatt hour. Yep. And uh, do you have any anticipation of that coming down? Uh, significantly. Uh, projections put it uh, dropping to about a dollar a watt hour over the next uh, year and a half. Okay. Yes. Uh, and can I ask how long they last? Uh, we've cycled them uh, in excess of 15,000 cycles, and they still remain above 80% capacity. That's 15,000 from That's zero to 100? percent cycling. Yeah. Do these batteries prefer to be full or empty when you leave them yeah. sit for a while? You can, you can leave them full. Uh, that's, that's fine. Uh, Self-discharge is less than 10% per month. Uh, so you're not... Phoenix here, you go on vacation, you come back, you haven't charged it up in a couple of weeks, you're not going to have a problem with it. You can still jump in and go. You're not going to have a lot of capacity loss. Uh -huh. So when would they be available for sale to, say, uh, electric car converters? Uh, in terms of the batteries specifically, uh, we do not have a, a specific date set on that at this point. Uh, we expect it to be sometime in the future. But I can't do you provide it. the battery management system? Yes, we do. Can you explain how it works? That's a very good question for the technical guys. Yes. And we're marketing and sales. <laughs> so. Well, what I mean is, um, do you your batteries operate at a little lower voltage yeah. than the others? They're, they go as low as 2.3, right? Yeah. Does the battery management system uh, shunt power from the low batteries to the high ones, or does it just cut off the batteries when they're full? It, it, uh, monitors each cell. So, Each cell, yeah. cell level. Yeah. So it will. Uh, actually, uh, I'm trying to remember if it, I don't remember if it shuts off the entire thing or if it'll just shut off. No, it it impede. Uh, there's uh, it it'll have a resistor on that yeah. that bank of cells and will limit. Or you can also uh, there's a seven pin seven pin connector that you can put additional voltage through. Uh -huh. Do you know what the operating voltage is on them? On the on the your cells, the, 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 the nominal is 2.3. These are rather startling claims, uh, uh, which would make lithium a significant player. Uh, recently, the Alter Nano batteries were tested with a, apparently positive results by your environment, the same field that brought us the EV1. Uh, what, what the claims are here is that the cycle life is 15,000 or, or something like that. An electric car needs three things. It needs enough power to take off without a gas engine needs deep cycling, enough to go at least 100 miles, and needs long cycle life, uh, uh, pr at least 1,000. means the uh, life of the battery is at least 100,000 miles. Now that's what's good about the nickel metal hydride, is that they, they have a proven life of longer than 100,000 miles. If the lithium batteries last anything like 15,000 cycles, which would be 1.5 million miles, the higher cost, $2,000 a kilowatt hour, let's say $60,000 for a battery pack that would fit in the RAV4 EV, would be amortized over a million or a million and a half miles if the batteries last that long. That would be quite reasonable. You know, six cents a mile is well within the range of possibility. So after your car wears out, you can loan the battery pack to somebody else. So these are significant claims, and if they pan out, it will be a disruptive technology, and things will be entirely different.